Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite tips to help supercharge your AutoCAD drawing templates. These are also gonna work in other software, but these are things that you're gonna to wanna to include in your templates and title blocks to help save you time and keep your drawings consistent and up to a specific standard. These are easy to learn and going to save you time right away, so let's jump right into today's video and get started. <laughs> All right, so first up, whether you're starting from a template like a DWT or just copying an existing drawing that you've set up each time you start a new project, I would highly recommend setting up your template and title block to be as automated as possible. So for the first tip, I'm gonna show you a few ways you can use fields to automate the text in your title block so that it's always up to date and consistent throughout all of your drawings. Using fields will help you do this. So if you have a piece of text, say a scale, that you want always linked to your viewport, which is over here, you can see I have a viewport in this drawing. I'm going to link the scale text here to that viewport so that the scale updates automatically when we change the viewport scale. So selecting our text and right clicking, you can choose insert field and then go to the objects category here, choose object and then click this crosshair uh, button here to choose your object. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose your viewport. You can see it's told me that I've picked a viewport. If it doesn't say that, make sure you've clicked on the actual viewport and not another line. From here, you can check or choose any of the properties in the list to replace this text with. In our case, we wanna choose our standard scale and you can see the preview here. The scale is currently at one to a thousand. So clicking OK is going to generate a field which you can tell by the gray background. The gray won't plot, but it's telling you that this piece of text is linked or automated using a field. Clicking outside of the text finalizes that now this text is linked to our viewport, so changing the viewport scale to another uh, common scale, say like 1 to 30 here, is now going to automatically update this text when we save or regen our drawing. You can see the scale updates automatically. This is going to help prevent any issues with forgetting to update the scale in your title block. You just want to make sure that you're using scales that are uh, labeled property if you're properly if you're making custom ones so that the text appears correctly uh, Next up you could also do this to automate say a date Selecting the text again and right-clicking inserting the field and in this case you want to choose category date and time And you've got a few options you can choose the current date a save date the date the drawing was created. If you're updating the date every time you modify or update your drawing, you're probably gonna to wanna to use the save date. This is updated every time you save your drawing, so you're gonna get the current day or today's date each time. And then on the examples or options uh, tab here, you can choose the format of your date whether you wanna use day, month, year, year, month, day, whatever, you can choose that based on how you like to set up your drawings. I'm gonna use this one here, 13 September 22, and hit enter. Now when I save this drawing, let me say here, example, you can see the date has now automatically updated. If I open this drawing tomorrow and save it, you're gonna get that same date updated to tomorrow's date. All right, so that's it for tip one. Make sure you use fields wherever you can. You can use these to pull the names from your tabs to give it a drawing number or a drawing name. You can use it to bring drawing properties like your initials or revision. The uh, options are kind of limitless, including if you use sheet sets, you can bring in a ton more information to automate your title blocks, a lot of which I talk about and teach in my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, which you can get right now at automatic download, and it's discounted for users like yourself and followers by using that link up above or down in the description below. That's my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, which is packed full of over 15 years of experience and tips and tricks. All right, back to tip number two, and that is create a plot stamp in your title block or template here so that you can keep track of your drawings after you've plotted and sent them off. A plot stamp is a small piece of text 
that runs along the bottom or say the left margin of your drawing. And it's gonna give you information like the file path where your drawing is saved, the last plotted date of this PD PDF, as well as maybe the name of the person that plotted it or what other information you would like to add in. Similar to the last tip, this uses fields uh, in a slightly different way. You're never going to update or change this. Once you've created it, you can simply leave it down here. I'm going to show you how to create a simple one right now. So I'm going to add some text here. I'm just going to type in file path and then here, and then I'm going to right click to add a field. So right click here and click choose insert field or hit control F. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to choose the document category. And then you can simply choose the file name option. And now you can choose full path and file name, path only, or file name only. I tend to use path and file name so that you can find the file as well as where it is located. Clicking OK is going to insert that, and you can see the path is automatically inserted. Now, if you hit space once or twice, you can also choose like plot date or save date and type that in, and then you're gonna insert another field, and we're gonna go back to that date and time. We're gonna choose plot date. We're gonna use that same format that I used before, and there. So now when I plot this drawing, it's going to have that date added automatically in the plotting process. Now you can add more information here, like user or uh, revision or whatever you'd like, but I'd like to keep them pretty simple so it's not a ton of text. But this is going to save you a ton of time in the future if you've ever sent out a PDF of a drawing or plotted a paper copy and needed to come back and find that drawing months, years later. This is going to be the easiest and quite possibly the only way you're going to be able to find your drawing that far down the road. All right, so the third tip uh, in setting up a template that's going to save you time in AutoCAD is to add or insert any typical blocks or textiles that you use regularly into your template drawing or DWT. This way, every time you start a new drawing, you've got the exact same text sizes and styles, all the same blocks, everything that's gonna save you time and keep your drawings consistent throughout the design process. Now, one easy way to do this would be to use the Autodesk Design Center or ADC command. You can also use Control and 2 to bring that up. You can see here that it shows you the files and say blocks and styles inside of your drawing. Now I've opened up a floor plan drawing in the background here. So by checking the open drawings tab, it's gonna show you what's in each open drawing. Now our example is pretty much blank. It doesn't have much, but our floor plan drawing has a lot of my standard floor plan or architectural type blocks. So you can add these into our example drawing by making sure you're in the drawing you want to add to. So from here, you're just going to want to make sure you're say in model space or in a sheet where you're not going to be plotting it because you're going to have to add these blocks into your drawing initially. So I'm just going to choose one here, right click and insert block. You can leave all the defaults or just place it at zero zero. And I'm going to place this window block into my drawing. It's going to ask me for my attributes. You can just hit OK. We just want these in our drawing so that when we start a new one fresh, we're not searching and looking for them every time. Now, this is helpful if you're using these blocks often. If you don't use them that often, perhaps saving these into an additional template drawing that you can then use this method to bring them into your current drawing whenever you need them. So you can see I've added a few here. I'm going to add one more and then we can close this window. So now if we hit I for insert, you can see that those blocks are now in this drawing. So when we save our template, those are going to be in here for every new drawing we start from now on. Now for the last thing that I think every template and title block should have added into them is layers. All of your common and standard layers should be preloaded into your template drawing. This saves time and keeps all of your drawings consistent and the same throughout the design process. To do that, you're gonna use the AD Center again, typically. There are other ways to bring in layers, but I like this method the best. 
Now you can see I've opened up an AIA template drawing and that has the standard AIA layers that are common in the industry. You can see them all here and they are pretty standard. But if you have another one that you'd like to use, you can simply open up that drawing. Maybe you already just have a drawing that you've created all the layers you like. You can use the same method to bring them all into your template drawing. So again, we're going to hit control and two to bring up design center. And this time we're going to choose the AIA drawing as our open drawing. And we're going to go over to layers. Now you can simply use control and click or uh, shift and click to select them all starting at the top and the bottom and right click and just choose add layers. You'll see here in a second, it's going to tell us that all of them were added and any duplicates are ignored. Now you can check your current drawing, your template to make sure that these layers are now in there. We had no layers other than our title block layers. And now we have every standard layer through the AIA template. Now, another thing you're going to want to make sure you have set up and selected before you save your template file is your plot style. Uh, this plot style here, you're going to want to use one that works with whichever layers you're using, whether that's the AIA plot style, standard AutoCAD one, or a custom one of your own. You're going to want to have this set up prior to saving and creating your template so that when you go to plot, everything is seamless and again, consistent throughout all of your plotted drawings. Now that's all for today's video. I hope these tips help set up your template and save you some time in the future. If you like these tips and you want to check out some more, don't forget to look at my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. Again, that link is up above and down below and discounted using these links. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.